Kia ora te whanau. Tui tū te marae o tāne. Tui tū te marae o tangaroa. Tui tū te tangata. If we protect the realm of the land and the sea, the people will be sustained. I'm Camden Howitt, and I am here to tell you a love story. First, a little bit about where I came from. I grew up in Autotahi Christchurch, and now I live in Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. And, kia ora. <laughs> and I have a vision, and I want to share that vision with you. I have a vision for beautiful beaches. Imagine beaches around Aotearoa, New Zealand, around the Pacific, around the world, with no plastics on them, with no pollution on them. Imagine healthy waters, waters we can wade through, waters we can swim in, waters we can take our kids to, and waters we can drink from around Aotearoa and the world. And imagine inspired people everywhere that love the place they live in, that want to protect that place they love. This is my vision. The amazing ocean explorer and filmmaker Jacques Cousteau once said, people protect what they love. And that's why this is a love story. Because if we don't have love, we don't have protection. I love our coastlines. I love our ocean. I've spent my entire life as a New Zealander surrounded by the sea. We have 15,000 kilometres of coast, the 11th longest coastline in the world. We can't be more than 120 kilometres from it. We harvest kaimoana from it. We play in it. We, our economy depends upon it. And we love it. But we need to protect it. I travelled, and when I was in Puerto Escondido in Mexico, surfing waves that I should not have been surfing, I was hit in the face by a nappy. I returned to the shore, found a toilet seat on the beach amongst the plethora of rubbish that I found, and was disgusted by what this place could be, but in love with the place at the same time. This is a story of love, but a story of pain as well. I travelled further and saw what our world could be, the bad that it could be. Not just for the environment, but for human health. Burning plastics creates dioxins, the same active agent that was used in uh, Agent Orange. It's also the animals, our brothers on earth that live there, that are suffering from the same fate. Those things we love. And I came back to New Zealand full of hope. We're clean and green. We're 100% pure, aren't we? Aotearoa. We had exactly the same problems. We're one of the highest consumers of waste per capita in the world. Our streets are littered. Our drains flow to the sea. Our birds are filling up with plastic. I've seen nests of blackback gulls on Rangitoto Island in Auckland's Hauraki Gulf made out of plastic. So what did I do? I went and worked in advertising. <laughs> Selling people things they didn't want. And I really, really, really struggled with it. I was not fulfilled. I had no purpose. And I lacked that purpose. I tried my best. I wrote, wrote sustainability policies. I helped people recycle. I put up signs beside the light switches saying how much they were costing the business and how much carbon they were burning if they left the light switches on overnight. <laughs> but I was working in advertising. <laughs> but it didn't change until one day a friend of mine that I was in Mexico with, Sam, Sam Judd, came home and he didn't have any money left, so he lived on my couch. And we planned some stuff, some fun events. And we ended up in Tonga in the Hapai Islands. We cleaned up eight shipping containers worth of rubbish from beaches that had never ever been cleaned before, an island group that had never had rubbish removed. And following that, I had an experience which changed my life. I was underwater with a, a humpback whale and I decided I wouldn't fly back home to my job in advertising and I would quit to protect these places that I love. And now that's what I do. We pick up rubbish. We decided to start small, but if you pick up rubbish, all you'll ever do is pick up rubbish. So we scaled it up. We got more people involved. We decided that actually you need to be the fence at the top of the cliff rather than the ambulance at the bottom. Education. Behaviour change, societal change, attitude change, everything to solve this problem before it begins. 
And to clean up our coastlines, we looked upstream. We started cleaning up our rivers because you need to do both. And now, 10 years on, we've picked up 1.4 million litres of rubbish from our coastlines, 35 shipping containers full. <laughs> Planted 60,000 trees to restore our waterways and educated nearly 200,000 people about this issue. But it's not enough. We need to scale this up. We need to make it systemic. We need to make it across our entire community. We need to prove this problem once and for all and how the solutions are going to work. So that's why I'm here. We need to scale us up around the Pacific, around New Zealand, and do everything we can to solve this issue. I want to harness the power of technology for good, and I want to harness the power of love for even better. So, thank you so much. I look forward to this journey and having you with me. Kia ora. <laughs>